Okay, M and S. We're going to see my beautiful handwriting from a computer skills. This is why I hated for the year because of this right here. Um, M and S represent what? What about the multiple choice and short response? Say that again. How many? So number of? Right, and then what would our two equations look like? I'm going to type that. Or what would at least one of them look like? We have four numbers. Plus. 3s equals 100. Okay, and the other one? M plus s equals not 100, but 43. All right, do we want to solve this by substitution or elimination? Okay. Um, since we are looking for short response, if we were to solve for M, get rid of S and put it back in, we would end up solving for the variable that we want. So get rid of S, uh, that's not what I was trying to do. Subtract S. I could type, that's fine. And put that back in to the other one. Mm -hmm. it, does, it would be negative S plus 43 or 43 minus S. Either or, it doesn't matter. We have 86 minus 2s plus 3s equals 100. And if we get rid of s, what, I'm sorry, get rid of 86, not s, what is s? 14. 14. <laughs> Fourteen points, fourteen questions, not points. So then we know the direction we're going. Yep, cool. And then moving on, so this will be the last one regardless because it'll either be the end or it'll go to one of the ones that'll give us the pathway to the end. So let's read that last one. Ben and Landon took turns driving on their recent 820 mile road trip. Ben averaged 60 miles per hour while Landon averaged 56 miles per hour. If the trip took them 14 hours, how many hours did Landon drive? What's important there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. 60 miles per hour. And I'm going to say that that is for Ben. And that is for Landon. What else? Mm -hmm. And what are we looking for? Correct. So we need two variables. What do we want to call them? 
sure. I'm going to capitalize them. And these would represent what? We know the number of miles. Hours. How many hours each one drove? So number of hours Ben drove and number of hours Landon drove. I'm just going to copy that one. Right, then we need two equations. We are given, again, four numbers. One of the totals is out of place. How would we set up one of those equations? Mm -hmm. I missed a variable just then. And the other one? Right. Do we want to solve this one by substitution or elimination? OK. So if we're doing substitution again, we need the number of hours that Landon drove. So if we solve for B, we could get L by itself at the end. They're going to do this like this. And substitute that back into the B in the original. Uh, someone tell me what that first number is. Okay. 840, thank you. As we're solving, what would L be? Mm, should be positive. Because um, you get negative 20 on both sides. Or negative 20 on one side, yep. But it should be positive five. We're drawing with highlighters, I don't know. <laughs> sure. I just want to get back to this. Okay. So then if we kept going, just to show you where you're going, this one is going here. This one has to go down to 449 and this one has to go, it can't go back up. So it would go to 12 and that would be the end. Done, yeah. For the remainder of class, you can be working on a, good, a bunch of different things. Um, I'm going to give you all the review. You can be working on that. We're going to go over the review tomorrow. You guys are going to take your quiz on Tuesday, Monday, to Tuesday. You can either be working on Delta Math, the one that's due Friday, for word problems or previous from last week or two weeks ago. Um, if you are on my list of retakers, which is not many of you, and want to retake now instead of after school. Some of you have to just upload things, but you could do that now. There is no more retake work um, until we have taken the test. Questions on what we're doing today? 
Use it to work. Give me a second to pass out reviews.